Hey guys, Silence Yale here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross update video. So this time around, we are finally stepping into the month of February's events. So if you guys have been keeping up with me on um, Instagram or maybe on the YouTube um, community post, you probably already know that we know the main song for the month of February. That is, of course, the ticketing event, which usually features um, the main theme for the month. You know, um, so basically, we already know that Toki no Mekyu is coming as the main event for the first event of the month. And of course, with that title, we already know that it comes from the latest Macross Frontiers short clip movie. Um, so yes, we know that my waifu is going to leech my wallet even more this month. <laughs> Anyways, let's scroll down so you can see a whole bunch of the event listings and of course the titles of the event. Um, then of course the periods that the events will take place. As usual, they only tell us like the first two events or the exact days and the timing that they will happen. Uh, of course, the first event of the month will start on the 31st of January, which is the last day of the, of the month. And of course, uh, it's basically two days from now. That I'm recording this video because it is, you know, there, there's a timer on the current event that we're going through. Hopefully you guys are still playing it or maybe you're still trying to attempt all the yummy Kure missions. Uh, I've literally given up. Although there have been one particular person on Twitter who has actually full combo or rather PFC. Perfect full combo. <laughs> Glow in the dark, high difficulty version using his thumbs. So I, I, I'm in awe of that person. It's just not possible for me. Their re reaction rate is just too godly. <laughs> but yeah, there's only one person so far that I've come across who has actually perfect full combo the song. Uh, which is just insane. And yeah, you can hear that the birds are still cocking away in the, in the around my neighborhood because it's literally that early. <laughs> Anyways, um... And yeah, February is also the month for Valentine's, so lots of Valentine's Day costumes expected in this month. So as you can see, the two seven star episode plates, yes, yes, it's still two, two seven star episode plates. Uh, Dana is not letting up on, you know, leeching our cash. It seems like it's now going to be a permanent thing. In the past, there was still a few months where there's just one seven star episode plate, but no, no. You know, they, they need our cash. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, um, Dana has gone back with the mirror image style for the Frontier Ladies. We've gotten such uh, illustration styles before. Um, and those 7 star episode plates ended up being a very big staple in the game because those are the 7 star episode plates that actually started the trend of having special notes attached to them. So let's see how it is when these two episode plates come around um, during the end of January. So yes, as usual, we have Toki no Mekyu design costumes for Ranka and Cheryl. I've definitely seen the one for Ranka, but I'm not familiar with the one that Cheryl is wearing because, well, I'm an international fan. I've yet to see the movie. I've not spoiled myself. so. I really do not know what the design for Cheryl's costume is like, but it does look like a very old costume that we've seen her wear before. Um, aside from the one that was featured in the um, Kuji, Ichiban Kuji figurine that Cheryl had, um, the costume was definitely a lot different from the one we are seeing here in the 7 star episode play. For Ranka's costume, however, her costume has been featured in a lot of the promotional items for Toki no Meikyu. Um, and we've seen this costume in, you know, the Macross goods. And of course, some of the other third-party items as well. So, yeah. And yeah, this costume is definitely familiar to all the Ranka fans. But for Cheryl, it might be a bit hazy for international fans because like, like I said, I've not seen the movies, um, so this costume is very unfamiliar to me and it does look pretty similar to one of her old costumes, at least the corset area. <laughs> Anyways, moving along, um, 
we do ha- like I said, the month of February is the month of Valentine's Day, so uh, a few more divas getting Valentine's Day costumes and of course chocolates, cookies, you know the usual confectionaries that you know people give during Valentine's Day itself. So Mikumo fans and Freya fans, as you can tell, these costume designs are what we have seen somewhat familiar at least at least for Freya for me. I can't remember Mikumo's costume. But as they have mentioned here, the costume designs are from the uh, fashionable Macross uh, period where, you know, Macross Delta crossed over with Elements H Party, which is a fashion brand. So I, I think it is. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with all the fashionable stuff. Um, you know, I mean, in terms of branding, but, you know, I am definitely familiar when these, these titles all popped up during the Oshari Macross events and all that kind of stuff because I have to update you guys regarding all this information, right? So <laughs> I am definitely familiar with this name, uh, Elements H Party. I'm, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrongly for all those fashion gurus out there, but you know, I'm, I'm a person who does not go into fashion too much. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, anyways, all costumes are reappearing. These costumes have been appeared before. Um, during the Oshare Macross early days as well for Macross Delta and yes, they are finally coming in as uh, Red Boss exclusive episode plates of Freya and Mikumo being featured again so it's a double uh, main diva feature from the Delta line uh, for the month of February <laughs> and of course, the last event of the month um, will feature Cheryl, so Cheryl Gnome fans gets double love this month for February. Ranka fans only get one seven star episode plate that they most likely will not get because the pool rate is just horrible. <laughs> Anyways, um, Makina fans will also be delighted to see their waifus getting a new Valentine's Day costume, a bit of the chocolatey effect. So we've got white chocolate, dark chocolate, Cheryl gets a bit of the strawberry colour. You know, with the skirt. But it's pretty nice design. Um, not to say that it's unfamiliar. It, it seems to be somewhat of a reused design, but it's just that the color palette's a bit different and a bit of a changes with all the ribbons and all that kind of stuff. But you know, it's it's still something new, just amended maybe. So guys, this is really much not much to say about the month of February. The events are still the same, you know, it's just that this month we're getting the Diva Improvement event, so we gotta really grind, unlike this month of January. It seems, yeah, we started the year with a bit of a decent uh, grind fest, considering that, you know, I guess Dana has been considered if the, the amount of time people have to actually play the game while celebrating the year, you know, getting ready to grind the rest of 2022. Who knows? Guys, let me know your thoughts on all the events for February and of course with your own gaming. You know, how are you guys doing with Yami Kure missions and all the other stuff that is still currently ongoing with the game. Um, and did you catch Basara Explosion 2022 last night? So if you guys did watch it together alongside uh, when I was watching the live stream itself, let me know your thoughts um, down below. And for those of you who have yet to watch it, um, or even purchase a ticket to watch it. Technically, you can still do it. Um, there is an archiving period till the 3rd of February, so technically you still have a few days, um, technically about five days, to watch the live concert um, and experience the love of Yoshiki Fukuyama, which is the singing voice of Basara. Of course, you get to see the voice actor for Basara, um, appear during the live concert as well. Uh, it's not really a spoiler. Uh, basically, every time they do a Basara explosion, the double Basara effect comes in. <laughs> and they do perform a very lovely number. So if you guys have yet to watch it, I highly recommend you to watch it. Especially if you're looking to cleanse your soul. I really, really felt like my, my soul was cleansed during the live performance. Especially since Basara does have a quite... A few number of lovely ballads um, and it just it just gives you a very good warm feeling uh, especially since Yoshiki is such an awesome musician you know he, he, he touches your soul and 
and it gives you a renewing look at you know the troubles that you're facing and you know who knows you might do better after just watching that live so guys that's it for today hopefully you guys are having a great day if not you know you can always complain to me on the comment section down below <laughs> i'm here I'm, I'm here to hear you guys out talk to me you know i'm here to support you with Utah Macross and maybe some personal advices. Who knows? Anyways, until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!